Elliot as my esteemed partner for all coming here today for this, this wonderful debate. Now, the resolution that we were given was the United States federal government should substantially change its, pol uh, its policy in Guantanamo Bay. We have chosen to define the United States federal government as the United States federal government, uh, sub substantially change its policy as closing down, and then Guantanamo Bay is a full military base within Guantanamo Bay. Now, uh, this is a policy plan on our criteria. It is more imperative to uphold human rights. And the plan, the plan that we have is federal government should, uh, no, the federal government will move prisoners from Guantanamo Bay to federal prisons within the uh, contiguous United States. And uh, that's where they, they will be held in the, within the contiguous United States. Advantage one, advantage one is soft power. By closing down Guantanamo Bay, you will be able to, uh, there, there's, there's a lot of human rights, a lot, of, a lot of human rights violations, and it's very imperialistic. So by closing it down, uh, you, the, the world view of, especially in, in Cuba and, and on this, the Western Hemisphere, uh, they will have an increased view of the United States. And by having the increased view, you will have uh, more diplomacy, and we'll have better relations with with other countries, including Cuba and other parts of Latin America and Central America. And uh, the second part is economy. The economy it costs about eight hundred thousand dollars to to hold a prisoner within Guantanamo Bay. Now that's very expensive. Considering the fact that you have only eight hundred eighty thousand dollars per prisoner within the United States, within the contiguous United States, on a regular regular federal prison, so in doing so, uh, that's that's too expensive. So by removing it, by removing that and moving them all over here, we're saving a lot of costs that are unneeded. So saving roughly seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars per prisoner. Now. In doing so, we are able to utilize that fun, those funds to further invest in more innovative uh, technology. When we when we're when we're using that money to invest invest in new technology, we can invent more efficient means of production and transportation. Now, that further that further decreases the, the cost of uh, groceries and. and Further decrease, decreases the cost of uh, retail, uh, all the different uh, production, all the different products within retail stores, and it, it decreases the cost of transportation for people to get to the retail stores. So when that happens, the economy goes up because we are more efficient within our, uh, we're more efficient. Um, advantage number three. Advantage number three is the, the American bluff. The American blog has to deal with, uh, with the United States being more friendly to uh, being viewed as more friendly by having Guantanamo Bay closed down. They are uh, able to tap into more resources that they were not previously able to do so. They would be able to tap into more resources within Latin America, within Central America, within Cuba that they were not previously able to do so. Now, uh, that is good because China is a very powerful nation as, as of right now, and we need to be able to compete with them economically, and we need to uh, increase our economic means, and by by increasing our, our friend, uh, 